Hello everyone. I'm working on a little project today. And if you remember from my last video when I rode my MV last week, it wasn't running right. And uh, I synced the throttle position sensor and uh, the bike was still stalling when I would come to like stoplights. And I noticed it was idling a little bit funny. So today I'm going to sync the throttle bodies and I'm going to show you just how easy that is with the MV Augusta. Just to let you see how this thing idles and you can tell that something's not right with it. So you hear that? So that's a very uneven idle and you don't want that you don't ever want to hear your bike do that yes the bike is a little bit cold uh, so you know you can expect that to a degree but it, this is just a little bit too lumpy so I'm gonna go ahead and get the throttle um, and the vacuum gauges uh, set up to the bike and let you see how everything looks and then uh, I'll take you through uh, how we can balance the, the throttle bodies and calibrate it Let's see what happens when we start it up. installed incorrectly um, when I tuned my ZX7 carburetors I didn't need these valves to bleed to bleed the the vacuum pressure um, but with the Augusta it was so much pressure that the gauges were dancing so I'm gonna turn it on now and then just calibrate um, just damping dampen the vibration and see if we can get it stabilized so we can tune the bike Alright guys, so it looks pretty good now. Bike is idling a lot cleaner. Well guys, um, it didn't need much adjustment, it just needed a little bit, 
Um, I got scared at first when I didn't have these dampers on. My gauge was acting up. Then I checked in the box and saw that I had those. So um, definitely, if you <laughs> if you get one of these old style synchronizers and you're not using the liquid, liquid. I mean the mercury, the ones with the mercury were the most accurate. But obviously mercury is dangerous, so they're hard to find. I don't even think you can buy them anymore. Um, but these you can get. They're relatively cheap. When I tuned the old school carbs, the ZX7 stuff, um, I didn't need these dampers. But uh, with the F4-1000, um, those needles went crazy. And I had to uh, back off some of the, the pressure in the line so I can get an accurate reading. I'm pretty happy. I'm ready to go for a ride. Probably gonna do some more rides with this. And uh, I'm gonna try to start shooting some videos in 4K. Um, but I need to upgrade my I need to upgrade my uh, editing software because I just don't have anything that supports that. So uh, I'm gonna get this bodywork bolted back up and just wipe down the bike a little bit. I have some road grime down there from over looping the chain last week when we went to visit Desmo Hugh. So that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section. So, just want to wrap this up. Just uh, kind of review what we did. So, basically, when I rode with Hugh last week, my bike kept stalling. Um, it stalled, I want to say, man, at least two dozen times. Every time I would pull up to a light in traffic, couldn't figure out why. I reset the throttle position sensor. That wasn't it. Um, and then today I found out that cylinders 3 and 4 were just a little bit out of balance. Um, for whatever reason, the MV Augusta is very easy to get to the adjustment screws. All you typically have to do is pull the side panels and the air box to get to all four screws. I was lucky in that I didn't have to pull the air box and I was able to tune with the outer screws on each side and then we pretty much got it in sync. Um, typically, your dealer will charge you two to three hundred dollars to do this job a bit much in my opinion but in their defense they will have to likely strip the bodywork and in many cases the fuel tank to get underneath the throttle bodies to get to the vacuum lines um, but if you learn how to do it yourself and you do it once a season you save yourself 300 bucks so um, those gauges like this MGO was cheap I don't remember how much I paid for it it might have been about 30 bucks um, I could be wrong it's been a while but they're not that expensive um, and then you need one of those long flathead screwdrivers with thin tips um, so you can get to whatever adjustment screws um, that you need to get to um, that's pretty much it so now I'm gonna start the bike let you guys hear how she sounds idling now you remember before it was lub 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 well listen to the bike now consistent As you can see she sounds a lot like her older self nice and angry <laughs> nice and angry so that's it that's uh, basically all it took to get throttle bodies in sync now if your throttle bodies are way off if this video wouldn't have been so quick I would have definitely pulled the air box and I would have definitely reset all four screws and started from scratch 
but this is just a minor adjustment and it's very rare that you get way out of tune it's very rare that that happens because usually when your bikes come tuned from the manufacturer and then you take it in for the first service and they do it and then uh, that's usually included um, and then after you put a few miles or if you start riding fast and you know um, you know your valves start to tighten a little bit and then you need to play with things a little bit but it's very 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 rare that they go way out of sync so it was just a quick job and usually that's all it takes just a couple of turns and then you're back in business and then it's I mean I've seen it an eighth of a turn stop a bike from stalling so um, and I believe that was the case today I think it was just on the quarter of a turn on the right on the on cylinders three and four so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and um, I don't know if you guys have any questions about the bike uh, feel free uh, to check in the comment section. Maybe I'll do a detailed a detailed uh, overview of the bike in the future So that's it for now